Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgames.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. concerning overtraining and depression and the reason why is because they actually could have very similar symptoms so you need to know which one you're dealing with overtraining or depression if we want to get out of the you know the funk that depression's got us in or the bout of overtraining that we're currently in so that we can continue to make progress when I came back from the beach this year when my summer was over I didn't know if it was depression or overtraining could have been a little bit of both I had no motivation once I got back to continue to work out. I had reached my goal. I had gone to the beach. I looked the way I wanted to look. I looked better than my little brother. And I had succeeded my goal. So I had trained for four months and now there was really no goal in sight. So I was just going through the motions with the workout. I woke up and I wouldn't really feel like I wanted to work out. I'd go to bed and there was no real reason to wake up in the morning. On top of that, I was stressed for a number of other reasons, but I wasn't getting good sleep. So the depression just brought on more depression and more depression. And yeah, I was killing it in terms of working out at the beach and before the beach for about six months. So my body, I'm sure, was a bit overtrained and I needed to relax and recuperate but I had just gotten back for the beach so what did I do I said well am I overtrained or am I depressed and what I started to do was notice and take note of how I was performing doing my workouts yeah I didn't feel like working out but I could lift the weight could still reach my personal best so the fire wasn't there so then I realized that it was depression if I wasn't able to reach my goals in terms of my workouts and or just lift the weights that I could typically weight lift so let's say that I was typically you know, curling 45s and all of a sudden the 45s felt like hundreds, something's up. Or if I could typically do 20 pull-ups and now I was doing 12 pull-ups before my forearms gave out, something was up. I could be overtraining. But I could hit those numbers. I just didn't feel like going to work out. So when you're overtraining, you're not only overtraining your local muscles, you're overtraining your central nervous system and you can even overtrain your neuroendocrine system which is controlling your hormones so everything can be out of whack your neural fatigue could be so much that your body doesn't even want to deal with the weight anymore like your muscles could be handling it but your nervous system doesn't want to fire the neurons that need to be fired to lift up the weight and your body's saying hey forget it I've been overused and I don't want to work out anymore it's even on a hormonal level. So it's not just that you're feeling sore in your muscles or your surrounding ligaments and joints. You could actually be in adrenal fatigue and your body's not producing the hormones to make you want to go work out or make you actually perform while you're working out. So you could then become depressed or you could start off depressed. If you're overtrained, you know you take some time off, you have more recovery days, you try to get better sleep, you try to eat better. There's a bunch of things that we can do. But if we're depressed, we have to physically, mentally beat that depression. And one of the things that I find, if it's depression that I'm trying to deal with and just a lack of motivation to work out, that helps me to get motivated to work out is to do just that. Find some type of motivation, set a goal, become accountable to somebody else. When I got back from the beach, I told my wife, I need something to get back on track. So we started the monthly uh, keto challenge and I had a big group that then I had to be motivated personally because I had to motivate this group. So I was accountable to a group of people. And I set that up because I knew I needed something to stay on track. Be it a new workout program, a new pair of shoes, new workout gear, new headphones, a new song, watching 300, which I used to do all the time to get motivated. I would see those guys body and say, I want to look like that. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Whatever the case may be, if you're feeling apathetic, lethargic, and a general lack of motivation to work out, and you're not reaching your personal best or having the fire while you're working out, you need to sit back and say, what is it? Am I overtrained or am I depressed? Figure out whatever the case may be and take actions to rectify it so that you can keep pushing forward. Because that's life. It's cyclical, right? You're clicking on all cylinders. Boom, 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 boom. And then one day, a cylinder's going to give out. Maybe two or three. But we work to make sure that we move towards having all cylinders kicking at the same time so we can feel as good 
and as great as we possibly can for as long as we possibly can. And if you can stay motivated and kicking on all cylinders for two months at a time, we struggle and move forward to make it three months and then four, five, six, and then if you could do it for a whole year, you're superhuman. Kudos to you. Because I personally get in the funk every so often and lose some motivation. Of course, as summer's coming, everybody gets more motivated. And as winter starts coming along, a lot of us start losing motivation and or the desire to work out and stay healthy and keep up with our choices. But we have to learn to know what we're feeling and listen to our body, and our body will let us know if we're overtrained or just depressed. You're overtrained, relax, get that rest. You're depressed, take any action you need to to get out of the funk. That's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and share this channel. If you haven't done so already, I'd greatly appreciate it. The website again is x dash, that's the uh, symbol, not the word, gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.